stay dazzling. Last year, me and Dave did the impossible. We stranded ourselves on an island in Malaysia in a remote region and survived there for a week. But let's face it, we were only half a mile away from the mainland and we always said if we did it again, it would be tougher and the gifts would barely help us at all. many islands there were. Ten islands. Ten islands. It's the final count. Here we go guys, I'm now about to react to Daz and Dave Survival 2. Last year they did the first Daz and Dave Survival, that, that was great, but this time they survived on 10 islands. That is why, that, that is why their video is an hour and 35 and this video is going to be an hour and 40 minutes. The, the stuff I do for YouTube. Alright, uh, let's not. Let's just. Let's just. Let's just get straight into this. Also, what you guys watched was Daz and Day Survival 2, the trailer, and I got goosebumps from that. I'm not gonna lie, I got goosebumps. Alright, but yeah, let's watch this. Come on. I'm watching the whole thing, by the way. Diamond, my dad's black. Director of photography, Lewis Martin. Thousand days, I would do. Come on. Come on. Last year, me and Dave did the impossible. We stranded ourselves on an island in Malaysia in a remote region. Is it literally the train on this one? Week. But let's face it, we were only half a mile away from the mainland and we had a string of generous gifts that we could take with us to help us survive. This time, I wanted to go all out, and that meant telling and convincing Dave and Lewis where we would be surviving next. And I, know, I already know that Lewis will be like, yeah, but uh, Dave, <laughs> he's, not, he's not gonna be happy. Adorable animals in, in this place, Dave. How's Mum going? The Australian Outback. No. I... <laughs> Come on, wow. Lewis. 
<laughs> oh, for God's sake. Jesus. We were now in the Australian outback and had to find the clues that the producers had left for us. Dave. Yes. We are in the outback. Gandalf stick. I have got to go. You sure not like pass? That. Oh, we're passing. We are. <laughs> Just don't know where we are now. We are in probably the worst, hottest, it's like 40 degrees and a 40 degrees Celsius right now. I don't know how we're supposed to survive it. Like the flies are in my ass. Nothing but me, you, Lewis, the camera, Gandalf stick and 8 billion flies. So. And a hidden note. Apparently the yes. producers have left a note here somewhere for our next challenge. The first one is, we know it's somewhere around here in this riverbed. And we... I mean, I have nothing. Like, I hope this, is, this isn't it. I have my fanny pack with some eye drops in it. Oh, we're drinking your fucking eye drops then. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. We can't, it can't be here. Like, there's nothing here but flies. Oh, there's so many flies. Well, the note's here. I think... Let's have a search. It's going to be in the shade under that bridge. You reckon under the bridge? Wherever we're going to, we're probably going to travel by road anyway. So it is under that bridge, I'm telling you. All right, let's if go. If it's not... If it's not, then I get to hit, can me hit you with the stick. Beat me with the stick. I hope it's not there. It's hot as shit. I, uh, honestly, I'm currently filming this later. Honest, as well. Honestly, it's in my ear, now in my eyeball. <laughs> just come out the earth. This is the first time me watching this as well. So if I just thought I'll make a video bridge. and you react to it for YouTube. For about 20,000 miles. Well, well, these are made for like the road trains in Australia. Like go like all the way across Australia. Oh, and I think I see something. The flies were absolute torture, but whatever the producers had left for us, we were certain it was under the highway bridge. What's it say? Wait this up. is not your final destination. Your final destination is far away. What? Oh. What do you... This is not your final destination. Your final destination is far away. So far, in fact, that it is still considered a part of Western Australia in the middle of the Indian Ocean. That's like... The middle How of... is that? So why are we here? Hold on. Australia lays claim to many territories and many islands, which are technically part of Australia. So we're going to a place in the middle of the Indian Ocean that's owned by Western Australia. Anywhere but here. Where the hell is that? Somewhere in the middle of the Indian Ocean lays a string of islands, and we were to be taken and dumped there on our own and receive further instructions of our adventure.
said our goodbyes to the boatman, we were now on our own. We were told to swim to the nearest island in front of us. For us, it was quite a challenging swim, and we had no idea what laid ahead of us. Okay. What is that? Is that a ship? En route to the island, we stumbled across a 120 year old shipwreck, which both gave us a chance to rest and also swim through some of the most incredible waters in the world. Jesus. be many and we were greeted with a sight that we both weren't expecting during the world war one era these islands were used as australian defenses and as we dragged ourselves through the current and to the shore we got a glimpse at the island's past as what lays were the remains of the weapons they used in the great war what the I'm not gonna lie, I'm toasting a little bit hot. You're going a little bit red over here. Although that could have it been was from the, the water. desert. That could have been from the desert as well. I felt like a boiling shrimp. Boiling shrimp? <laughs> Guys, welcome to. Does a day survival number two! Number two, baby. We are in the middle. We started in Australia, in the outback, and now yes. we're in the middle of the Indian Ocean. And we've been told that. We have to get to the next island. There's more than one island in this one, guys. Yes, ten islands in total. Ten islands in total. And Jesus. we've been told that on each island, Christ. there's going to be a gift to help us survive, but it's not like the last time, which with fishing rods and, you know, we have no idea what's going to be on the next we island. We could get fishing rods, but we could also get, I don't know, Spiders in there. There could be fucking no. recording no. equipment. I don't want be, a spider. We don't know. These are like old cannons from like, like World War One. Hell yeah, they're, uh, they're apparently they're this really particular old, island, those cannons. Um, completely abandoned and uh, evidently so, was used to defend um, Australia, which is miles away. And I think we've come from this way, so the next island is that way, which means we have to go through the yeah. island, and we are pressed for time because this time guys we have been we're alone now we are dumped here we are alone there is no help coming on the next island so shall we go let's go i'm also burning like quite badly i can smell your ass burning from here <laughs> let's go right daz is like hating the spiders but this is going to be full of nothing but spiders it's not really the spiders that bother me it's the snakes the snakes yeah you can tread on them you can tread on snakes you can tread on anything really well, the key is don't tread on anything that was my fucking eye. i literally looked at that and my brain went it's a fucking curled up animal oh shit watch that i only just tripped on that root 
It is really hot. It's this like really insane. hot. All right, there's some palm trees over there. And I think we can get to the beach and then walk around the beach the rest of the way. Yes. And then we might get a sight of our first island, lads. This feels hotter than Malaysia, by the way. A hundred percent. This is definitely hotter than Malaysia. I have you ever been somewhere so fucking beautiful in your life? But uh, my wedding, that's about it. Yeah, it's not. Nice. Let me track my face. Look at this. Wow. I mean, if this was like further on, I would have said make this base camp. Well, we've got some islands to go and the ocean gets a bit deeper, but um, other than that, everything's just an unknown. We've got to just keep going. Bit, really. Let's keep moving, I guess. We made our way further into the palm tree jungle after being directed to go in as straight a line as possible. It was really that nobody will ever see or appreciate is that we've got Lewis in front of us, walking in front of us back. Honestly, holding, the a holding a gimbal right now going, oh, Lewis I'm making is... everything look cinematic. And we're just like, we're fucked. <laughs> Lewis has like been moonwalking this entire shoot. <laughs> yeah. We've got to feed him as well. Or do we? You hear that? It's just a coconut. <laughs> Don't worry it's about it. It's actually a giant wolf. We're seeing. <laughs> why on earth way. would you do that? All right, I'm, excel I'm excelling energy. Uh, yes, but why? We need it. Conserve it. I'm just excited. I'm in you a are, dream. We, we are in paradise. I'm in a dream paradise. We're in paradise. My balls are itching. Dave was right for me to conserve my energy. And quickly, food became the topic of conversation. Bacon and whipped cream. With lasagna. With lasagna. Mixed together. Blended. Oh, honestly, <laughs> this movie. you could put a lasagna <laughs> up your ass. <laughs> and you After inappropriate food talk, we saw light as the jungle began to break. I will say, I said this last time, in terms of places to get stranded, Dave, I'm quite happy about this. You're happy about this. Well, this, is, this has been the most difficult bit so far, but it's still bloody beautiful, isn't it? I just didn't think When was that... the last time you get to walk across palm leaves that definitely have tarantulas underneath them? I'm kind of not trying to think about what is beneath me and more about what is in front of me, and that's more islands and civilization. So, it's hot right now. You guys can't appreciate through the camera that it's hot. That doesn't bother me, right? The mosquitoes, they don't bother me, right? What bothers me is Dave's bladder. What did you just say about me? Nothing, I said take your time, mate. It's not like I'm depleting in resources in my body. Just keep <laughs> pissing every five minutes. Well, if you throw a coconut at me, I will kill you. Don't do it. <laughs> Come on, let's go. We've got, we got more to go. Or do you need another piss? Oh, I'm fine. Okay. Love you. <laughs> do you need to show the world your nipples anymore? We could have stood around and stared in wonder all day at the beauty of this island, but we knew we had more to cover. And as we pressed on and the jungle got thicker, we finally made it out to the other side. All right, lads. So, we have to swim. It's not a problem. Not hungry yet. <laughs> not hungry yet, but we will be. We will be very soon. We walked across the shallows and made it to a much different terrain than the palm jungle. We used this opportunity to quickly discuss just where the producers would have hidden the gifts they had left on each island. Jesus Christ, it's like when we came in on the boat, <coughs> there were just strings of island like going that way and just there's just endless nothing. I don't even know what's in that direction. The Indian Ocean, that's, about, Indian that's, Ocean. that's about it. <laughs> Which island we go to then, there's, there's going to be a gift. How big is each one of these islands? What are the gifts though? Like, what, how, like, 
How big is each island? How like Just that this, one looks pretty bloody this, big. This, this is fairly small, right? This is fairly small. If you loot, like this could take. An, if you didn't know, if you didn't tell you it was on the sandy bit, it might take an hour. That is going to take more than an hour to search a whole lot. I bet you. It's got to be no, 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 no. I got it. I got it. Video game shit. They're going to leave it. You know, like they have the big beam or like their big statue, and you're like, I'm going to explore that, and there's going to be. That's where it's going to be. It's going to be like a little monument or something on every. You say they're going to have a beam. Not. No, no, no. Right. If you're in a video game and you go under a waterfall, what are you expecting? Treasure chest. Drowned. Tre no, treasure chest. Oh, there's always a treasure chest on a waterfall. So they're going to have, I reckon they're going to put them at signs of origins of points of interest. That's oh, the one. Oh, God. Ten islands. Ten islands. We have to make it across ten islands. Survive. We're not going to make it across all of them in one go. We're going to have to, like, stay overnight on some of them. We need, a, we need to make a base camp, like, now. We need to go now. Here's a plan, right? Let's as many islands as possible now and get as much stuff as we can. Yes. Yes, the more islands we get through, the more islands will have gifts for us. I, I, I hope the gifts are like a steak or something, because I'm going to be pissed <laughs> off. No, if they put shit on this island, that is going to annoy me. You said make it harder. All right, we're in the sun. Let's get across. The, it's only there. We can walk across that. The tide's not in. Let's get across to that island and, and keep going. We began our journey with an easy straight direction to follow and low tides surrounding the lagoon. We took our time and conserved our energy. So if you were expecting an action-packed episode, that's just not real survival. We were going to take it day by day and keep our wits about us, which led us to spotting our first shark encounter. Look. I can see his fin. Right yeah, it's a tiny little fin. I wish I could get that. That's why he's going to get the drone out, so we can get some of these sharks around us, guys. But um, as I say, guys, conserving our energy, we're literally... Over there. Those are like little sea cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Yes, they've squirted out. And they've like already squirted tried to... out their little tentacles. They've tried to digest Lewis's foot already. Look at him, he's a little sea cucumber, but they're not poisonous. Jesus Christ. I'll jump in and wrestle a shark. Shark fin soup or something, yeah? If you could do that, Dave, that'd be amazing. But just don't die, because I kind of—I've grown fond of you. But I'm gonna go get some water. I'll be back. I'll be—I'll be really quick. We made it across the lagoon, watching our every step, just watch the rest of as we were now on the lookout for where our first gift would be placed. <sighs> okay. Woo. One, technically two, islands down. All right, let's get to shade. Wait for Lewis. Wow. Where the... Hello. What you don't see on the camera, guys, is that we are very, very hot. <laughs> we just have to, as we mentioned, yeah, I don't even know if really we mentioned, sweaty. but just in case we didn't, each island there's a gift waiting for us. The producers has left for us in the line that we're taking to get across. So if we go back through there, we should find our first gift that's going to help us. Dude. 
Look at this place! Oh, well, at least the tide's out. Look, we can, look, there's the other island. We can literally just walk oh, we, to them. We got to, we've got to, we've got to explore this one because we need the, the ship. I think the gifts are going to, they say stay on the path. Look, dude, there's one, it's one of those World War One huts. Let's go in there. Wait, hey, you're right. Let's go in there. No, it's like there's a hut. Let's go in there. Let's get some shade. Wait, and then we can have a, start having a search of the island and see where our gift is. Wait, that's where the gift is, right? It must That's be. That's where the gift. Yeah, of course. How else are we supposed to find it on an i on these islands? So on each of these islands, when I spoke to the producers, um, as you saw the cannons, this these were used as bases during World War One, and there are still tiny little shacks. What's left of them on these islands? Um, and they're not used for anything now. So what's well, going to be used for us now, isn't it? Yeah, Time is completely gone between the islands. Make your which means we can walk all the way down. I thought we were going to be like swimming more. What is that? Yeah, rolling. What is that? Is that an eel? Jesus. Watch him, watch him. Dude. Careful, it's not a sea snake. No, that's an eel. Whoa. With the island's wildlife looking on, we decided to press on to well, the first hut. These huts right. were first erected in World War I to store supplies, feed troops, and provide safety and shelter. And over the years, visitors to these islands have come and gone. Oh. Whoa. Oh, that's actually a really good place. Dude. That's a really good place. Dude, so that started off as a World War I shack for ammo and food, and like people have obviously sporadically come here over the years, but look, it's not been used in years. Dude, what the fuck? We entered inside, not knowing what we would find, but hopeful that this was where the producers chose to leave the gifts, as placing them in a random spot on the island would make it impossible to find. Is this crabs or turtles? Look at the feet. I reckon these are, look, and the skin. I reckon these are turtles, and these, look. Bird the, marks. The bird marks are like eating the turtles oh. as they come out. Look at all this stuff. What's the most mod, oh dude, even like, look. <laughs> so wait, 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 wait. Fishing wire? Oh, that would be useful. So like old fishing line. But are we still like meant to be finding gifts or something? Are these the gifts? These can't be the gifts, he's been here for years. No, these are too old. Keep looking. I think the youngest thing in here is this light bulb. That is the youngest thing in here, and that's still probably 20 years old. Imagine being, like, shipped here as a young man and waiting for boats to come <laughs> through and, like, hearing the cannons you're, go. You're here, you're looking out there. Bloody you've hell. got ammo all across here, you've got guns, you've got whatever else. You might have... You want to make Anything like that you see, just grab it. Ah, da, da, da. What? Oh, you saw it. Oh my god, what is it? You were hoping for a knife or a fishing rod, but it is sun cream. And insect, re and insect repellent. SPF 50, effective against flies and mosquitoes. Is there a note or anything? Is there nothing, no? Nope. Hang on, the might have fallen. That has to, well, that, look, that's brand new. That's a brand new bat, brand. Ha. Oh. Dave's oh. making use of the sun cream. Ha, 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 ha. Oh my god, already that feels so good. Second thing going in the back. Thank fuck. Oh, I'm actually, I was a bit disappointed when I saw you it. You saw it and you're kind of like, uh, but actually, no, this is, this is what we need. All right, next gift, whatever it is, it's going in your bag because your bag is empty and I'm carrying fishing line and matches. I've got batteries and shit in it. You've got the matches in your pouch, yeah? I do have the matches in my pouch. It right. hasn't added a lot of weight, I'm not going to lie. I say we, because we can walk to the next island, I say. Yeah, let's go now. We get to the next island, but then we, we find a place for that. Come. We find a coconut and get something to drink. <coughs> we need to eat like now. Like we actually needed to eat about two hours ago. All right, let's let's get around to the next island. You're find a coconut. You're struggling to speak. I know. I'm, I'm like really hot. With the first gift in hands, we made our way over to the next island. Not before Lewis got the drone out and captured the true beauty of this place. Bro. Oh, 
now. And Island number three is literally a stone throw away, and we can see literally another one of these shacks. They built bases on all of this island. This is so cool. I'd love to like know the last time someone came and used these shacks. Wow. We got coconuts. Another hut, another present. Another hut. Yo, another I island. See. What's this now? Three? I don't know. <laughs> it's I don't hot. know. I can't even count. Can you, when you can't count to do shade, please just put me in the shade. Get in the shade. Put me in the shade. Okay. Oh, do oh hello. Uh -uh. You fancy opening a coconut? Uh, oh man, that is old. Look. Oh my oh, god, it's like know. rusted through. Jesus. That anything that looks new that wasn't from the forties. Oh what? Tarpaulin, baby. Tarpaulin. <gasps> Really hoping for like a knife. We don't have a knife. A fishing rod. A shelter, I guess. Or a bed to lie on. I mean, you don't have to lie on the sand and get yourself all, all your skin gets rubbed off. It is harder than last time. We don't have any control over what we're getting. No. So what I would have picked right now is a big axe like that, so we can open a coconut in one hit. That's one that's not a thousand years old. Look, even these pans, like. They're just... <laughs> that could have been here, literally, for... How, well, when was the First World War? Nin 1917? Some of this could be from the war. Rope. You never know, right? We can use it to tie the tire poorly. Yeah, good idea. Right, just gather any bits like this, guys, and let's get on to the next <coughs> item. These old, abandoned huts were proving a lifesaver, and the supplies were stacking up in our backpacks. And even though it had only been day one, we had already traveled miles across these islands with no food or water. As we got to the next base on the next island, we knew that it was imperative that we found something to eat or drink. But this base was much bigger than all the other ones. So somewhere in here, it's gonna be Gift number three. Gift number right. three. All so right, look over there for the gift and try and find some coconuts as well. Let's split up then. Okay. I'll look for some coconuts. I'll put my bag down and look for some coconuts. We'll meet the other side over there. I'll look for coconuts as well. Just find the gift, find some coconuts. Yeah. I'm going to leave my bag here. Go a little sea. Dave, this is a rock pool. We got firewood. Yeah, camp here tonight. Make a fire. Yeah, we'll camp here tonight. I'm gonna dive in this rock pool and see if I can get some crabs or something because I, I can't catch any fish. You see, Lewis, there's all these natural rock pools here. Oh, yeah. There's gotta be some stuff stuck in there. Yeah, there's gotta be something in there. I'm really like, it's been day one we've crossed. Four or five islands, I, I'm not sure. Um, we'll set up camp here tonight. We'll find a place to sleep. Yeah. No one sleep inside of these structures. I don't know how stable they are. They're rusty. There's... Jesus. Dude, look at like this old palm tree. That is crazy. Why is there so many holes in it? It's just eroded over time. There's a problem. What's the problem? The problem is, is that all of the coconuts that have fallen are rotten. Hang on, stand here. Oh, stand oh, here. Lewis, Lewis, come here. What is it? Oh, it might be nothing. Old fishing nets. Nice. That's definitely not like the gift. That's the gift. Oh, it's the, it's the fire lighters from like Malaysia. The, the same, it's almost like the same ones we used. Like, you remember the striker I had? 
oh. I've been way more excited. Wicked, been, look. Hold on. I've been way more excited oh. if we hadn't found matches, though. Oh, yes. But the, if the matches don't work, it means we have a, a source of very, fire. Very true. Very if true. I can go in those rock pools and get a, a crab or a, lo a fucking lobster or something, we could actually then. eat well. All right, we've got to find a cup. We've got to get some water, guys. We'll get a coconut. I might even test that net out. Um, all right, coconuts. Once we found water, you See focus like on a fire. Lewis can help you. And I'll go out on those rock pools and I'll try and we need, find some food. We need coconuts now. These, okay. these pricks have That's been... brilliant. That is brilliant. Yeah. We've got a fire. We've got a fire. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. All right, cut there. Save battery, Lewis. Okay. All right, Lewis. So, while I wasn't able to find any good coconuts, if you look around you, all of these coconuts, look, all of these, these things here, these are all rotten, these are no good, they've got punctures in them, they're ready to grow, whatever it may be, we can't, we can't drink out of these, okay, and we are starting to get quite thirsty, um, and staying in the shade is helping a lot, but there are a couple dotted around, there's one, like, a couple right above us, you might not be able to see from this angle, but it's just over there, just over there on the other side, and there's oh, yeah, another, and there's another one that's just over there. We can knock those down and just get a good mouthful, two mouthfuls of water. That's First, it. okay, you ready? All right, wait, hang just on. Just stand back because it might bounce back. Hang on. Pull. Oh. <laughs> okay, ready? Pull. That's such a bad aim. Oh. Do you know what? My turn. My turn. Your my turn. turn. I'm gonna go. For, I'm gonna go for the bigger number. Okay. And I'm gonna go underarm. I'm gonna go underarm. All right. Oh, <laughs> so true. <laughs> oh. Oh. Right. Just keep throwing it until we get it. Oh, we just got to hit it. Oh, no. That was a direct hit. Why won't it come off? Go on, keep going, keep going. Go Shit. Well, I'll tell you what then. As you are the fittest man here, yeah, that was really hard, and I, it's not coming off. Give me the camera. You climb up. Wait, you're saying you could climb that? I'll even give you. I'll even give you my gloves so that you don't get your hands don't get fucked. Yeah, you've got a drink as well. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Look at them go, the little spider monkey. <laughs> brought a fucking chimp with us. Ready? Yep. Oh my god, you would Yeah, we, I don't think we're gonna knock it down. Oh, just drop it. <laughs> oh! <Ready>? Done. <laughs> if he weren't here, we'd be dead. Right, uh, I think he gets the first blowjob. <laughs> Jesus. Right, um. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Nice. Oh, another one. another one. There's some loose ones. Give me that. Nice. All right, where's my rock? Oh. I've got a nice shot. Bit of coral here. So we point. need to make sure that we can open it in a few hits. Because if we can't and we waste energy, that's the That's why I'm thing. sitting down. Um, right. This will be the first drink we've had since we left the mainland on the boat. So. Okay. Is it cracking? It's going. Something's happening. It's definitely getting there. Um, yeah. I don't know if you can see on camera, like the salt in the air because we're surrounded by seawater is, um, my lips are so, my mouth is so dry. I've, I've sweated so much, we all have. Anything, Dave? Nothing? Not yet. I'm just going to bring the bads over so they're over here. Is that my one? That's yours. That's hitting the shell. Ooh. <gasps> Is that it? Yes. Ow. Fuck. Yes. Yes. Um. Oh, my God. Hold on. Look. No, abs look. absolutely fuck you. Look at that rock. <laughs> See inside? Look. 
Oh, yes. I don't want to waste any. Oh. That looks so good. That looks fresh. Oh. Good? Oh. Oh. There's so many in here. Oh, God, honestly, you have no idea. There you go. All right, um, there's a few more in that tree. Well, Daz, now that we've had a bit of uh, coconut and a bit of water, I'm feeling a lot better already, uh, we're, he's sun creamed up with the new sun cream. He's going out there to go and uh, see if he can get crabs some, ca crabs some catches. <laughs> uh, catch some crabs. Um, I'm going to build a fire. I made a decent fire last time. We found this, which is obviously s something that was used who knows how long ago as a, as a brush for the floor, but I think this will serve us well to make a fire. All right, uh, this is the only thing we brought with us is masks. I'm going to try and go through these rock pools and see if I can find like a crab or a lobster or something. Oh, it's deep here. Jesus Christ. Let's go. So I think if we go around here, I don't know how high the tide comes up, but there's a really dry looking bit around here. And if we build the fire there, then at least we know we might be able to make something from the embers in the night. So that looks good. Look at this though. Look at that. What an absolutely incredible place. It's just unbelievable, isn't it? Look at that now, that's good as well, guys. Oh, that is so much like food down here. I wish I had a rod. <sighs> Shit. What? It really is. It's cool. It's my first go with the new D this little DJI that Dan's bought as well. It's, I love it. It's really, really cool. Ooh. No! Oh, mate. <laughs> that, that was for the fire. That was for the fire. I feel like oh, there's a towel over there. Let's have a look. This towel, oh my god, Whoa. fish. Whoa! A turtle! A massive turtle! Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'd love it if you caught an old boot. I don't know where he is. I mean, so... We've gathered some stuff, we haven't quite built the fire yet, but I was going to go check on Daz because I am a bit of coconut and a bit of coconut water. I am quite hungry now. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's trapped right in here. It's a blue tuna. Um, I fucking. I caught him with my bare hand. Oh my god, he's been trapped in here. I, I think he's like heat surprised or something. Oh Jesus Christ! Unbelievably lucky. Unbelievably lucky. It was just stranded in a rock pool. The GoPro died. And I hit it with a rock, and I killed it. This is a, this is unbelievable. So much meat on this. I, I could literally cry. It's like God. It's like there's a God. I. It's just, just in a rock pool. Just a massive fish in a rock pool. When I really wanted one. That's ridiculous. Oh my god. He did shout, but oh there he's there. The fish I found was a GT, a giant Trevelli. 
Stranded and possibly heat deprived in a rock pool with no food, it was weak and an easy kill. I wasn't going to waste this incredibly lucky opportunity, and we knew we'd have to cook it ASAP. And it was struggling. I think it had been there all day because the tide, it was just tired, and I just grabbed it with my bare fucking hand. With coconuts, fish, and other resources, we decided to camp on this wow. island for the night. We gotta cook this fish and we gotta like get a camp set up. Dave's already made like preparations on the fire. Um, he's getting rocks. Thank you, Dave. No worries. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna build like a little sort of teepee. I have all this bamboo lying around and um, use the tarpaulin that we got as a gift. So yeah, um, I don't even know how to build a teepee, but yeah, just bear with me. I prop them up and dig them in and they'll be trying to give it like longer like it's not just building it you gotta film it <laughs> you set up like time lapses and make sure that everything's good to go and get wood and uh, I need some rocks no just work in the games it works Wait, I'm doing this all wrong. No comment from Daz there. Oh, life is a game of luck. Thank God for you, Lewis. Thank God for you, Lewis. This is like the forest. Now all i got to do is get the tarpaulin over it without it falling over. And if it falls over again, I'm just sleeping in the sand. I don't care. As the sun set on our backs, we were close to having the camp done, and much closer to cooking that fish. Lots of twigs. Right, literally no one fucking touched this. Okay. All right, if we hopefully don't get any strong wind, we should be protected by these trees, but film inside there, Lewis. I mean, it's a bit cramped, but obviously this sort of, we can move this back to give us more room. And we can just lie in there. Just move all this out. Did I tell you I only sleep on duck down? Murder in That's not bad, actually. All right. It looks like shit, but it's shelter. And it's marvellous. All right, let's get this fire going and cook this fish. That's a specimen, that is. His wife. Keep looking that way. Keep looking that way. Don't talk about my wife. <laughs> Dave's wife is going to see this footage and marry him again. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> you just look magnificent. <laughs> just a silhouette of a man. The silhouette of a man. More like the silhouette of a Teletubby. Have you seen this, boys? <laughs> All right, I'm I'm hungry and. But last time, we basically lived off of nothing but needlefish and coconuts with uh, Gordon Dazzy. The fish was primed and ready. We would now have to get a fire going using the fire starters the producers gave us. Uh, we got the coconut for nice and dry. And uh, we got the fire starter as, as our gift. Lucky gifts. Otherwise, it's a whole fish. Time to take the next step He's on the journey. There be fire. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I can that. oh God, Jesus. It's one thing they don't tell you about lighting the fire with coconut stems, or whatever the hell this stuff is. It doesn't taste great. No, it does not. The fire was roaring. Me and Dave collected a bunch of firewood for the night ahead to keep us warm and the animals away. It was time for me to put the giant trevelli that I caught in the rock pool earlier on the fire, which was not only going to feed us, but provide bait to perhaps catch more fish down the line. All right, food. 
I might try and just lay it across here. So it's just above there. Just lay it on the coals. It might be a bit burnt. I don't care, mate. We had a bit of a burnt one last time, didn't we? The fish was cooking on the fire nicely and smelt amazing. The camp was set and we were ready for our first night on the island. And as the fish cooked away, it gave us the opportunity to reflect on things. Look at it. Those white coals are so hot, you don't need to do it over the fire. And that meat should, should be cooked all the way through. Meal in a fire. Can't ask for more. Just leave it a bit longer. How about we enjoy the sunset? Yeah, how about that sunset? As in Dave, survival two. It's a lot harder than last time, isn't it? Electric boogaloo. <laughs> you are? As in Dave, survival two. Electric boogaloo. <laughs> What's that mean? I don't know. Okay. Thanks well, for doing this for me all the time, man. It's thanks, a lot. Thanks for inviting me. Just as in Dave, survival. Like... I wouldn't have done it with anyone else. Well, I don't imagine there's many people in the world right now that have walked across like five islands in one day, made a camp. Been attacked by flies in the outback. Attacked by flies in the outback. Traversed oceans, islands, jungle. Found a GT in a rock pool and cooked it. Like, I don't know. It's man. mad that they I've already this. seen. Don't so this much. Hundred year old shipwrecks. YouTube. That's it. And we're the only ones here to see all this. That's literally it. They're and we get to do it with a model you. pointing a camera at our face. Yeah. Lewis is nice to look at. Yeah. Oh well, thank you. Yeah. Nothing out there. Suddenly it's very dark. Oh. Oh, look at that. It's just. Is it good? You have no idea. Dave, come and eat some of this. Oh, I'm a Kerman. Mm. I'm gonna eat this whole thing. What does it taste like? Is it really salty? It's like cod. It tastes like cod. You just literally pull, look, look, it's all, it's all just meat. Mmm. That looks well nice. So much meat. I'm not gonna lie, that really... actually looks really nice. Because they haven't given me anything to fish with. And I can't catch them with my hands. This, this is, um, I might become religious after this. Do you want some, Lewis? I want some, yeah. Try that, Lewis. Get like this under meat here, right? Like, uh, the belly meat, man. The belly meat, like this is. Mmm. Mmm. It's quite sandy, but I just don't give a shit. It's really good. It's not actually that fishy. No. We eat all this, even if we get sick of it. Turn it over, just eat as much as we can. Okay, and then we got some coconuts as well. We'll drink some, eat some more. It'll just keep us going. What we need? We've <laughs> eaten like almost half of it. I'm actually feeling quite full. I know. It's a very, very filling fish. You've still got the other side yet. Yeah, I might actually pull, well, I can, there's just nowhere to keep it. You can't keep it anywhere, so no. we have to eat as much as we can. And then chuck it in the sea or Because something. of that line that I got, I might actually use some of that fishing line, and I've seen some washed up cans. I might use the ring pull. I might keep a bit of meat in my bag just to, just to dangle it in the lagoon before we go. I know, but if I, you know, we have nothing else, and I'm never gonna find a massive fish in a rock pool again. No, you're not. <laughs> if I can get another fish. The luck fish, we've had today. Yeah. We found matches. We didn't even use that. We should have used the bloody matches or tried no, to. The fire, you know, it's never let me down and the matches are a bit shit. Um, no, if I can catch a fish per day. on a bit of ring pull, I think this can keep us going for two days with coconuts. It's gone very well. I feel so much better than I did about four or five hours ago. Should, oh. we say, should we call it a night? Call it a night. We finished the fish and turned in for the night. And whilst we were sleeping, we found out just how unpredictable these island tides could be, and we had to move. Um, it is pitch black out here. 
almost. If it wasn't for the moon, we, the tide came in and we had to like move camp no, 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 in the no, middle of the no. fucking night. You parked us next to the sea. And now we have to go through the fucking jungle, pitch black. I didn't we're... think the tide would come up that far. It's not my fault. Where are you? I'm to your right. Oh, crab to you. Come. Where? 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 There was movement on the floor. Nice. Can you see in the night vision where the crabs are? They're fucking huge. I can't see anything. Oh my god. If we go back on this pup. What, what, what was that? What was that? Dave, that was you. No, I'm here. That literally came from in there. Oh, no, I can't do this. This is fucking stupid. Well, this is your fault for parking us. It's really us. not, is it, though? Because, like, how, I, I've been here and I know the tides, don't I? You, you gotta stop it. No, no, no. I'm not, dude. I'm in a foreign country. I'm not messing around. Something just ran across there, and it was not. A, it was not a crab. Where? In the moon. Yeah, it went through the moonlight. It was. It was. It wasn't scuttling. It was actually walking. Fuck. What if we're going the wrong way? We have to just continue going forward. There's no. Oh shit. Just you have to keep going forward. If we don't keep going forward. This is honestly so... What? 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 Dave, what? Fuck off! Fuck off! Oh, yeah. Dave, I gotta get... I gotta get out of here. I gotta fucking get out of here. Fuck it. Just, just walk in a straight line. Where's Lewis? Lewis? With the camera. Oh, I can see the road on the camera. It's fine. I can see like. Oh, no, nah, mate. Keep going. No, nah, mate. Keep going. This has to be coconuts, right? Just carry on. Right? I'm not sticking around to find out. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. How do you turn this off? Red button. Red button. Where's this at the back? I can't see. Yeah, that's a big no from me. That is a, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a no. What the hell? That's a no from me. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, first night on the beach, that's, that's the beach behind us. Um, like actually really soft, like really soft. Um, it's nice and comfortable. Um, it's just a lot of like wildlife, like crabs and stuff, and you can't go too close to the ocean because like eels. And I've literally got my bag that I'm going to use as a cushion, um, which is not a lot. I don't know if I can do this again. Since the tide was high, the next morning, we had to swim to the next island.
So uh, each, every few days, uh, we thought um, we'd do like a little vlog on our own each, me and Dave. Just pick a moment. Lewis is getting some drone shots. We're on a tiny little sand dune in the middle of the ocean right now, just going across these islands. I don't, I don't even know. Um, like my hair, my back hurts from sleeping overnight in sand. It's really like, it's a lot tougher than last time. We're not just in one location. We're, we, we, we're exerting ourselves every day. And it, everyone always says to me, like, I want to share a story with you guys. And it's about my vine tattoo. Like, you guys know that that's where I come from online. And, it, and the reason why I got it tattooed um, is because everything that I have now, everyone that I know, my fiance, the reason I'm sat on this island, everything I do, my, my tour across Australia and the UK and next year I'm coming to the US. Every now and again when I'm doing something like going across tropical islands in the middle of nowhere, driving over an absurd car through Dubai, meeting thousands of people at events across the world. Whenever I'm doing something crazy like this, I take a moment and I just look at my vine tattoo and remember that's why I'm here. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Unbelievable. I'm holding up okay. Um, I'm not looking forward to more nights. I found a really pretty clam. No pearl inside of it though. But, you know, I'm loving the nature out here. I've seen so many things. Mm -hmm. All because of vine and you guys. So, all right. I'm going to carry on. All right. So, I'm doing this vlog thing. So, yeah, <laughs> what am I supposed to say? I think I'm supposed to say the trip is amazing, it's going well, but I have a little secret, and that is I am in quite a bit of pain. When we were in Perth, we went on a, we went on a few little mini trips, and I've, I've done something to my neck. I've had it for months and months and months, um, and it's affected my eye and my hands and all sorts of bits and pieces. I won't go into details, but um, it's been really affecting me these first, this first bit and um, I really don't want to tell Daz because I don't want to worry him, I don't want to ruin the trip, I don't want to have to call anything off. It's in the middle of nowhere so it's not like we can do anything but it's, uh, it's been really hard, it's been a really hard year. And I don't want to let him down because he's my brother. Well. I think that's it really, isn't it? After our short rest from swimming, we decided it was time to move on. Yeah, Videos. And after a rough night of barely so, any sleep, things were starting to take their well. toll already. And the oceans being higher than normal wasn't helping. With that in mind, we needed to replenish our resources once again. Okay, 
fishing rod, knives, or a spear gun, spear gun, spear, just a spear in general, or a pike. Oh, shade. Yes. Day two so far is worse than day one. Ooh, got Nothing's empty. Come on, where is it? Oh, it's empty. There's so much shit in here, nothing we can do. Well, that's comforting, isn't it? Is it rope? Is it? It's rope. For fuck's sake! It's fucking rope! Just, what am I supposed to do with fucking rope at this stage? I don't need rope! Is that, is that definitely it's it? Just, it's just, uh, it's just for you. Sorry, hold on. Give him a minute. Might have found something to open coconuts with. Thing is, this could be useful, we just don't know what the producers have lined up for us. So, is it useful, is it not useful? It's not, it's, it looks like that climbing kit, but it could be used for anything. Like well, I'm not leaving it here in case we need it, so. I will stay here, I found a spade that I can use to open coconuts and stuff. So I'll look for coconuts. You go to the, ne say you go to the next island over there. This might be useful in the future. We don't know what the producers have lined up for us yet. You, you could find a barrel of water on the next island. You don't know. I know the way it's been going, it, maybe not. I don't know. But it's just, like, it's just not helping. Like I said to them, like, give us stuff that isn't like a fishing rod or anything you know, obvious, but just something that could help. And so far, they, they may as well have given me a fan. I'd yep. take a fan over that. Take, take Lewis to that island. I will keep the DGI here. You're gonna stay here? I will stay here, I'll get coconuts. I've got a spade, look, I found a spade. We can use that to crack coconuts open. Look, the hut is over there on the left. You can see it poking through the trees. So you know that that's another gift. Yeah, I'll go to that island. And then behind this one, guys, just so you, I don't really that know. Should be, that should be the, the last the final island, island but we're just be. checking out. And I think there's a little one in between that as well, but um, there's only one more gift. It's got to be on that island. Well, unless there's what, there could be one on the main one. Uh, I'll go check that out. Uh, if you just get some coconuts, because um, okay, I haven't I'll drunk since like last night with the coconuts. I will, stay, I will stay here. I will see what we, I can find. Work off your anger. These could be useful in the future, we don't know. If this chair was a producer, right? Yeah. Where am I going? Where are you going? Sorry guys, sorry. I'm just like the I'm Go to the other island. Sorry, Lewis. Like I am you know me, I'm not an angry person. I'm just like <sighs> It's it's alright, it look. It's I'm been ready. Like I know, we had like so much fish and on that island, and like, but it's not just quite enough. Do you know what I mean? Like it just it gets you through a day. Angry at our producers, I went over to the nearby island to have a look. The mics are on charge in Lewis's bag, so we can't use them. So. Just... Oh, look at this! Have you seen anything? You found anything yet? No. <laughs> what is it? We found one, it's fishing line. We've already found one of these, like, left. But it's, uh, it's, no! no. It has a hook and a weight. It has a hook and a weight. Oh. I. Dude. With the fish 
chunks that I have in my bag. You can fish. It's not a rod. But you can set up traps maybe? Just cast it out and I might be able to get some more food. Or just make All right, uh, it's, it's better than the other ones, isn't it? Yeah. Just make one. Yeah, let's go see around the other side of the island and Dave's gonna meet us. Dave decided to stay back on the previous island and have a look for any resources he could find that he could bring over to me. So I'm pretty much around half of the island now and um, it's, there's no denying it's beautiful but not too many coconuts yet which is a bit disappointing. I really want to get some hydration for Daz. He's getting a bit, a bit grumpy which is understandable. I'm sure my time will come. There are some coconuts here but they all seem just to be too old. Right, I couldn't find a coconut, but I just heard Lewis has got the FPV drone out. I can hear it from here, which means they found something. So I'm going to go over. All right, Dave's on the other eye. He's going to come across. Did he, he said he's coming across, isn't he? Yeah, he will. All right, let's go around there, see if we can find any coconuts or anything like. I'll just here we go. Just, uh, just keep rolling. Okay. You're not going to climb it? Yes! Look at that! Oh, we can reach them! Wait, 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 wait. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Go on, see if you can reach it. Do you need a leg up? No. Oh my god, that was so easy. That looks ripe as well. Oh, listen. Yes. Look how many there are in reach. One, two, three, four. All right, I've got a plan. We were going to set up camp at the final island, but um, I say we sh let's camp here again tonight. And what I can do with these overhanging palm trees, I can hang the line in with a bit of that fish guts that we had. Yes, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna have sex with this tree if you don't mind. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave you to it. All right, just uh, just see yeah. I'll, I'll see you in a bit. All right. Lewis. Okay. Swing the banana. Banana. <laughs> it's a banana. It's banana. It's banana. <laughs> Lion King. I'm off. Can you tell I'm happier now? You're Rafiki. I was over the moon with the fresh supply of decent coconuts. Knowing that me, Dave, and Lewis would have plenty to drink and eat on this island. I got a bit of fish meat from my bag. I'm going to put it on this hook that the producers gave me. And uh, I'm hoping a shark doesn't take it. We're getting very hot, but I have to catch us some more food. So we'll see how this goes. Island life, though tough at times, was going well. You find that you always have to set yourself a routine and mine was conserving energy and gathering food. There's also problem solving, like how to cast a line with fresh bait out without the island sharks taking it first. Oh my God. With no bites on my line, it was gonna have to be coconuts for tonight. As the sun set on another day, we decided to save the batteries in the cameras and turn in for the night, as we only had coconuts to live off and not much energy. This is the um, second night. And just another island, they're all the same really. My back and like legs are really hurting from like sleeping in sand it's not comfortable at all like all my mouth and face are sore because of all the salt and I'm gonna try and like get some sleep and um, tomorrow I just hope it doesn't rain or anything in the night like we've only got a sheet and tie pool in the bag but I kind of like using it as a pillow <laughs> I don't think I'll ever complain again at like 
a hotel bed. How to buy fractional shares with as little as one pound. Get the trading 212 app. The next day, we emerged. Tired, we decided to try once again with my fishing line the producers gave us. I only had a little bit of fish bait left, so I had to catch something today if we were going to eat this evening. What it felt? Yes! Just one each, mate. Now we gotta get one for Lewis. We now had plenty of food, and we had one more island left to go before the final island, where we would find out from the producers what our final task would be. So we set off and was hopeful that our final gift would be of some use. <laughs> it's a knife! No, 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 no. We can open up coconuts. If I catch more fish, we can fillet fish. No more like no trying to open them on a rock. I, like, look. <laughs> like, I've got a blister like all over my hands from where I've been smashing coconuts. What I do know is that this mother trucker is going down. Yeah. My gums open it. <laughs> Let's drink. The final gift from the producers was a set of knives. This would make things a lot easier across the board as we made our way to the final island. Uh, me final this, island. One of these videos. This is it. Go. We'll find out what we got to do now. Oh, oh mate, let's go around a bit further. Let's go. Nah, that's dense as hell. Let's go around further. We can go around further. Look at it. When was the last time you saw palm trees overhanging the sea like this? It's absolutely never incredible. Seen never seen it. What are we looking for? Like another hut or something? I think a hut, a point of interest, anything like that. You first. I love how it's me first. Your show. Oh, Whoa. Talk about a god ray clearing. Look at that. That's something from God of War. Well, at least yeah. we've got plenty of coconuts here. Lots of food. Okay. There are some mushrooms growing on these things, and we have no idea about the fauna out here, so let's uh, get through that way. And then... Hold on, hold on. What? Is this it? Ratchet straps. Ratchet straps. I think I know what that fucking means. I told you. Remember I told you? We guessed no, at the beginning of the trip. We, we, we guessed you. at the beginning of the trip. I said we're going to build, we're gonna have to build a boat. Hold that. Yeah, don't smash that. You have made it to your final island, but the journey is not over yet, Daz and Dave. Just like last time. <laughs> you'll have to build a raft. Oh, you But mother. this time it's not what? seven miles of ocean. 
our raft has to be seven to get across seven miles. Do you know how much effort that's gonna fucking take? Fucking shit. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck's sake. I, I don't have the fucking energy. I don't have it. You said make it harder. I said, you keep saying that, Dave, but I said make it harder, but don't fucking kill us. You like, you keep, you keep saying things like you said, you did, like you parked here. It's not me. Like, how much? How far did we get on that fucking raft last time in Malaysia? About about 750 yeah. metres. And it was falling apart. Well, this time, we just have to hope. Fuck this time. No, we have to do it, man. Oh, fuck's sake. We, it's not but, just... But the viewers, like, they're not here, are they? No, but they, they, they are our boss. Fucking, they're not... The viewers are our boss. Okay, they wanted Daz and Dave 2, we're making Daz and Dave 2. We said make it harder, they're making it harder. We're making it harder. All right? Right, let's think about it logically. Shut up. Fucking honest to God. Maybe give him five minutes. The reason why this is the final island has to be because this is either where A, there are materials. B, this is where stuff washes up. Or C, there's something that can help us. So I'm going to explore and see what's what. And I'm going to leave him to cool down. Because he's obviously very, very angry. And there is an absolute metric ton of spider's webs in there. So I am going to grab these ratchet straps and run. He missed the bottom bit. It's three days. You have three days until the plane leaves. If you do not raft across the ocean in this time, the next plane is a week later. Oh. So we have three days total. So two nights to build a raft to go across seven miles, 10K roughly of ocean. <sighs> All right. It's gonna be absolutely mental. Oh, here he is. Dave. Yeah, mate, what's up? Um, I'm sorry, man, I'm... Might have overreacted a bit. No, um, there's... I'm sorry. I just really want to go home, man. Do you... Come here. Come here. I'm sorry. It's fine. Don't worry, man. It's Daz and Dave, you know? Things gonna happen. <laughs> oh, I just want to go home. I don't want to build a raft. You missed the last bit of the letter, mate. The plane leaves in three days. What? So we have to build the raft in three days. Two nights. Where? So it was at the bottom of the thing. I've, I've got to scrumple that up now. I don't know where it where is. Where is it? Uh, I might have chucked it in here. Does it say that? Yeah. I can't. I've, I've thrown it away. Yes, it does say that. I read it out. It says... Is that it? It's it. I've, I've read it out already. Three days, seven miles. If we don't, it's going to... The, the next plane leaves in a week after. So that's ten days. We have to stay here ten more days. Which I don't have the holiday leave for, so I'll be fired. So we need to do that. We need to get cracking, mate. All right. I reckon the reason why this is the final island is because somewhere on here there's a bunch of either materials we can use or driftwood or something. So I'll explore the island, I'll see if we can find some, and we'll get as much back as we can. Next time we're surviving at the Ritz. I think it was shit. <clears throat> That'd be nice. I, uh, I heard Barbados <sighs> is nice this kind of time of year. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been filming for now 25 oh, minutes. Coconut. I think you just found a nut, mate. It's a good one. <laughs> it's a good one. You guys don't believe me. Thousand Dave Survival 2. Electric Trust Blue. <laughs> Look. An hour and 25 minutes. Oh, God. The task was set. We were to build a raft and stay here on the island for a further two nights. The raft would need to be big and strong enough to make it across seven miles of water, across the lagoon, 
to the other side where there was an airstrip. So we hunkered down and got to work. Have another bit. Yeah, hang on. I have to get it off. There you go. Well, the raft is done. We've got a hut. We've got a fireplace. Ooh. We've got food, some drink. Not too bad. We're doing all right. And um, tomorrow, though. Tomorrow. That's the big one. That will be the day. Night two on the island had fallen and we decided to get some sleep. Um, we're under like some palms because uh, it was starting to sound like it was raining a little bit. I don't know what night is. I don't know what night this is. Um, I'm gonna go to sleep. Good night. final day had arrived and it was also the day our pilot would arrive across the lagoon on the airstrip we either made it across or we stayed here for a further week until there was another flight right ready no <laughs> let's, That's fucking, let's, survival two. let's go uh. oh, all right get, get grab it from behind that's it, and then we'll jump on. Right, we're on. Get on, get on. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's floating, it's floating. Oh, it floats. Right, it. Grab your sail when you're comfy. Uh, oh. uh, you okay? Uh, yeah, that nobly bit. Is there a nobly bit by your leg? You need to grab that sail, we're twisting. Ugh. Pull. Pull it more your side. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, it's working! It's working, people! All right. Yeah, but don't... I say we tie this down. We will say it's not much more comfortable than the last one we made. I think it's much better than the last one. Oh. We're gonna tie this down and hopefully drag us in the right direction. So you need to tie yours down. Yeah, I got it. I'm on it. Yeah, you need to bring in more rope so it pulls it all the way around facing that island. I am, I am, I am, I am. Yeah, give you some slack. Oh, don't worry about the rudder just yet. Ugh. 
We seem to be kind of going in the right direction, dude. You need more. You need to tighten your end more, I think. Yeah. Okay. Hold that there a sec. Look. Look behind us. I know. We're going. We're standing on it. Yes. The raft was floating. Now we would need to make it seven miles across the ocean to the other side. <laughs> We're going the wrong way. Can you get, oh, shit, can you get us with that thing so that we're facing? No, the drag is too much, I can't poke it down. We are literally at the mercy of the wind right now. I can't get it in. All right, I'm gonna need you. Oh, dude, oh. I'm gonna switch with you, okay? That's not a good idea. I don't think that's a good Why do you want to switch with me? What do you want to do? I'm gonna take control of the sail. Okay, yeah, hold my other shoulder. Like this, okay. Now it's in the middle, robust. in the it's middle, robust. Okay. in the middle, and now turn. Oh shit! Oh my god! What have you cracked? Oh dude! It's fine. It's fine. Things were going well, and we were making good progress on the ocean. We had already made it double the length of what we did last time in Malaysia, but there was still a long way to go. And with the sun beating down on us. That moment couldn't come soon enough. I can't believe I need to edit this video. After this. Bring it round again. Well, we need to we need to turn the craft. We need to turn the craft. Start and the resistance just pushes it off. Alright, hit the bottom of the floor. Okay, try and turn us. We're turning. Yeah! What are you doing? Fuck! Yes, Dave. That is fucking hard. Yeah, it is. Keep doing it again. Do it one more time. One more. It keeps turning us on this side. There's nothing you can do. Ow. Oh, that was fucking hard. Yeah. Ah. Sorry, Mark. That was really, that was the hardest thing. Front stepping, dude, front stepping, front stepping in. It's fine. Somewhere in here, there are tiger sharks. Yeah. Yeah, I'm aware of that, Dave. So far away. We've nearly traveled the distance we traveled in Malaysia already, look. Yeah, already we've done about half a mile. Let's just stay our core, bide our time, and we should get to where we gotta go. Ah! Oh my life. Fall off. If you fall off, get him back. We're gonna off. hit that island, Dave. We're gonna hit the island. I know. All right. We are going from here. And we are going to hit the corner. I don't even know where I'm going to go from where it is. There it is. So it's somewhere over there. Just point and you'll be fine. Somewhere over here, we're gonna hit the tip of that island. If we miss it, that's it. And it's game over. Oh, it's a bit choppy now. Are you still on the GoPro? Yeah. Uh, I am so fucking thirsty, dude. That sun is hot. Just like try and tie it down to there. I'll hold on to this one. Try reach there. Oh, man, it's... Dude, 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 dude. Shit. Oh, God. Oh, my glasses. Oh. Dave. Oh. Oh. so fast. Dude. Come on. I'm gonna, 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 gonna. Ah. Oh, dude, those I can't see. Ah. I got it. Shit. Dave. 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 Oh, I'm getting back on. 
I don't know, from there. Go round. The weight this end. Yes, Dave. Yes. All right, let's just, uh, let's leave that. Let's leave that one then. Are you okay? Yeah, just my pride. We had almost made it. Land was in sight and we got ourselves ready. Oh. Lost my hat. Yeah, that little sail was ripping, but I don't think it will matter if it just gets us to this shore. Try to turn this way a bit. Because if we get pushed out again, we're going to float past that, and that's out, that's out to sea. It's so close. Dude, this thing is going, man. So close. All right, that's uh, close enough. I think we can, if we can touch the floor, we can push. Can you touch the floor? Yes. Oh, you fucking... Come on! Come on! Just hold that sail! I'm holding it! We're going home. It is done. Once again. We did it. Doesn't beat more than two. <laughs> we did it. Yeah, we did. We had finally made it across the lagoon. Australia is many things and is often perceived as dangerous and scary. But what we had discovered during our time here and during my time before this challenge on my tour is that Australia is one of the most amazing places on planet Earth. And even though we were stranded and lost, we had never felt more safe and welcomed. And it is a place that I will hold dear in my heart for years to come. That's it. I'll keep rolling. I'll keep filming for another minute. Just see if anything happens. Nope, nothing happens. Well, guys, that's going to wrap up for this video. Jesus Christ. I need to edit this video now. Hour and 40 minutes long. But I need to end, I need to end this video now. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope that, hopefully this video does well. Because I've literally been filming for an hour and 40 minutes. And I'll see you for the Christmas Day special. <laughs>